we have here is case for a Singer featherweight. Happens to be the case that I have for my personal featherweight. And you'll see it has a broken latch. This latch being okay. Um, I went online looking for a replacement latch part. Uh, there were none to be had on, um, on eBay. So I went looking in the featherweight shop. They had them listed, but they were out of stock. And they wanted, if they had them, they wanted $39.95 for just this portion of the latch. Which, honestly, if they had them in stock, I still wouldn't pay that. So I went on Amazon, and I found this latch mechanism. And I bought 10 of these. These were like sub $4 for the whole thing. Plus it comes with the screws and the key and all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove, we're going to start on one side, take this portion off, then this portion off, and we're going to attach one of these. Um, if I'm successful, you'll see this video. <laughs> um, anyway, and then after this one is on, then we'll go ahead and we'll do this side. And uh, I might not show both of them, I'm going to show this one here. But um, these are these are admittedly kind of chintzy, and uh, OhioBagParts.com probably has better ones than this. But I thought like I said I found these as it was on uh, Amazon, so I'm going with that at the moment. So these are riveted in place. Getting these off is going to be somewhat problematic, so I'm going to go ahead and lay this down and find a way to cut these uh, heads off of these rivets. It's time to engage the safety squints. I'm going to use this uh, grinding wheel on uh, a rotary tool. And we'll see if we can get these, these rivet heads cut out. Not sure how well that worked. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this behind there. Oh, look at that! It's coming loose. I might have just a little bit more to go. Oh, there it goes. That pried out. Okay. Let me get a little bit more grinding on this one here. Probably not the preferred way of getting these out, but that came off, and now I'm going to grab this with this tool and pull them out. This is more of a uh, a twisted nail kind of. No, that's actually it's it, they're actually peened over. But all right, so that one's off. I'm going to lather, rinse, repeat, and see if I can get these to loosen up. Actually, let's see if I can just get something underneath there and start it to move. Probably not. No. Okay. I'm going to try a little bit different shaped um, grinding point. I'm going to use something I can see a little better to control. I'm going to use one shape like that. See if I can get that to pry a little bit now. Yeah, that's going to loosen that up. All right. Um, like I said, I've never taken one of these apart before. I know that there's stuff going on inside the case underneath the fabric here. It's probably a way of attacking it there. But I'm just going to continue what I'm doing. Okay, that one's coming out. The grinding might not have been necessary, I'm not sure. But, there, I 
just going to get pry underneath just enough to loosen that. Now they're coming up. Okay. up just enough where I can grab the head. All right, this is good to see that the rebate that was cut in the uh, wooden case is only around the latch mechanism itself. So we're going to have plenty of meat to put the screws in beyond that, the screws that are provided with this case, with this latch. And this is going to be sitting proud of the surface here. So that's going to be fine. So... That's going into the same hole that one of the rivets had gone through. It's going to hold that get that level. So that'll be level like that. Okay. And I'm just going to run this screw into the wood of the case here. Okay. in. This is going into these last three screws on this. This one, this one, and this one are going they're making virgin holes here. Yeah, these aren't as elegant a solution as actual ones that were used on the featherweight case. But they're also a $4 solution versus a $40 solution. So now I'm going to hold this close and position these. I'm going to hold that close like that. You know what? I'm going to something to hold this case closed. See what I've got in here that I can use. I don't know if I have a clamp large enough on hand at the moment. I do. I have a woodworking pipe clamp here. to use to just lightly hold that closed. It's going to make my life a little bit easier. Get a screw started. clamp off. Let's we'll see how this is going to work. Well, 
That works just fine. Let's see if the key actually locks. Oh, wrong way. And the key actually works. All right. Like I said, these were in the uh, sub four dollar range when I found them online. I think I paid um, I think I paid three dollars and change for them. But uh, anyway, I'll go ahead and I'll do this other one, and we'll come back and take a look at the whole thing finished. Uh, I believe I said Amazon earlier is where I got them. That's not where I bought these. I bought these uh, from an eBay Buy It Now. I will have the link to the eBay sell uh, down in the description below. That may change. I'll also have a link to the main page of the company that was selling these on eBay. So, I mean, they might they might have go, go back up under a different number. They were $3.90 per each of these, which is dirt cheap, considering one of these is like 40 bucks if you buy it from Featherweight Shop. Anyway, um, so to quickly recap before we finish up, the grinding was unnecessary. Uh, simply get under and kind of like pry up just a little bit, just enough to get these things, uh, these, these rivet type things to uh, come forward, grab the head of them with a pair of pliers, and pry them out. So, yeah, the grinding was completely unnecessary. Um, fortuitously, I didn't damage any of the plates that I was taking out with the grinding action. Uh, rather, the only thing that did get a little bit was this broken piece here anyway. So that doesn't matter. This one, like I said, I'm holding on to this in case I have a customer with one that needs uh, a replacement. But anyway, like I said, I bought 10 of these at $3.90 a piece. Uh, they did take a little while to get here. Took a couple of weeks because these came shipped in directly from China. They are made out of Chinesium. They are not as nice or fancy as the old American hardware here, but this stuff's not available new, and good luck getting them. But anyway you have to pardon the fireworks uh, uh, sounds in the background this is the Saturday immediately post 4th of July and um, there are those in the neighborhood that are still not satisfied with the fact that they have not yet detached their fingers from their hands so hopefully they will keep them intact while they're still celebrating the nation's independence anyway I'm gonna call this a win um, it's a sub $8 repair. It worked fine. Uh, I am going to be getting a new handle from OhioTravelBag.com. Um, I will post a link to said handle, and when it comes in, I'll do a quick little short showing what the handle looks like and how it attaches. I've got one of those handles right now on my 
alto saxophone case and it works quite nicely and it's very comfortable. But anyway, this is a good alternative if you do not want to spend big dollars on one of these uh, case latches. Um, I'm obviously not going to throw out the good parts that I removed from this case. But to be honest, uh, this I think is a, is a really good alternative. Um, it's a little chunkier than uh, the uh, original hardware that Singer used, but I don't think that hardware is available new anywhere. So, anyway, it, puts, it, it makes the case secure and it puts it back in service. That's what's important. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, and we will catch you on the next video.